Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Welcome to Haseeb al Quranic. Today I am going to demonstrate how you can troubleshoot power supply Every circuit the basic requirement is power supply The design of power supply may be different Size of power supply may be different But the function is always same Today I will demonstrate uh, step by step so take care for safety. It is a power supply circuit. It is very small. It takes uh, 220 volt and uh, it gives us uh, 5 volt uh, regulated. How is the circuit? We will see step by step. Here are input terminals. AC. The two terminals here are AC input. If we see the one line it is here. And this line is going to this filter capacitor. And the other side is going to this inductor. Inductor is divided into two pieces. It is entering in the first coil. Then we will see the second line. The second line is here AC2 terminal. If we see AC2 terminal, AC1, AC2. AC2 is going here and AC1 is going to fuse. Here is fuse. After passing this fuse, it's going to inductor second end the first coil the second coil these are two inductors in line if we see two inductors the one line is connected to this is inductor one side is second side one side the second side okay here we have two terminals here two terminals here we will see what is there it's input 90 volt to 265 volt and 50 hertz 60 hertz and output is 5 volt 2 ampere this converter it is uh, very useful it is a standalone power supply 5 volt as we are discussing two lines here two lines here these are bridge rectifier if we see this line and this line these four components two lines and two lines connected here after passing this bridge rectifier it is coming here and after passing this line here I will connect AC line here you can repair any battery charger mobile charger any power supply in the same way there is no difference if you are working on a power supply of computer working power supply working on power supply of uh, laptop or anything the same idea there is nothing change the just only we can say the size may be different but the working principle is always same so I will connect the one line which is input terminal for AC and always when you are making connection don't make uh, any loose connection or, uh, or long lines connect power what we will do we will check voltage here AC voltage here we will find AC voltage after capacitor AC voltage at the bridge rectifier these two lines are for bridge rectifier until here we will check AC voltage after that at capacitor we will find about 300 plus volt DC so now let's start if you have any question please let me know in the comment box we will set it to AC I set it to AC voltage carefully never touch uh, the line it is 236 volt now we will check the output of the fuse we will put one line at uh, common one line and the second line here and it is second line here at the after and output of the fuse after fuse it is coming two lines coming the main line coming here it's about 236 volt and after that after passing this coil if we cannot find voltage here here that means the fuse is damaged in this line there is only one fuse if you cannot find voltage here the problem is fuse okay after passing this uh, coil the voltage are here if you cannot find voltage here the problem inductor change the inductor coil after that you can find voltage at these two terminals at these two terminals at 236 volt that means the input of bridge rectifier is okay 
after passing from bridge rectifier we will find the output of the bridge rectifier at the capacitor so the capacitor it is DC and the output of the bridge rectifier that is also DC so you have to switch to switch the multimeter to DC voltage and now we will check very carefully it is 336 volt DC and stable if these voltage are not stable that means the capacitor is bad now we will check the output DC voltage we are facing problem the voltage are not stabilized the voltage are not stabilized if the output voltage we, if we have some voltage here that means the output of the transformer that have problem it is not giving any proper feedback si signal to this area after this capacitor there is a inverter circuit which makes chopping here is DC voltage this DC voltage I will show you how it is working this line is directly positive line is directly going to transformer one end one pin positive line is directly applied to transformer and the negative line if we see this negative line it is going to FET field effect transistor so field effect transistor it will make switching when the signal at the gate will appear here it will cause to switching to the FET now how we can find the switching the very easy and the best idea very easy it is very very easy you can find DC voltage here 336 volt it is a very key point it is making switching how we can find you can find AC voltage at the pin 3 and 4 we can find it is working but it is not giving a proper feedback so we have to check this portion at pin these two pins for transformer switching and these two pins for the feedback connect multimeter and we can see a voltage are varying 150 millivolt 150 and 90 it should be stable every circuit it have different voltage level but it is switching it is not proper way switching so we will uh, check what is the reason of this issue if the output circuit have short circuit any item any component is bad we will find problem in this area like this if there is no switching at all the problem in this area if there is switching but the voltage are not stabilized the whole problem in output area now we will check step by step so now I will check first of all I will check capacitor the output capacitor sometime it is short sometime the output capacitor is short I'll remove it I remove the capacitor when you remove the capacitor always take care of the polarity I have capacitance test facility so I will put it on and then yellow button now I am in capacitance mode first of all make uh, two pins short of the capacitor to protect to discharge it now I will connect the multimeter it is 500, 473 microfarad I will read it is 470 microfarad so this capacitor is good it is 470 and when I will connect multimeter when I will connect multimeter it will give me 471 that means it's uh, very close to it's okay 
So this capacitor is good. Then you connect the capacitor, polar capacitor. Always take care for polarity. Never connect the opposite side. A reverse polarity. If you will connect the reverse polarity, it will damage immediately. Never connect polar capacitor in reverse direction. Then we have another capacitor. We will check this capacitor also. What's its uh, response? Because you cannot check the capacitor in circuit. I am using Weller piece holding gun. It is very useful Weller WR3. It is my favorite uh, test equipment. In workstation. Welder is my favorite uh, rework station because it never damage the PCB. Now I will make short the two pins. When you test capacitor always make short the both pins. It is 1135 microfarad. So if I see it's 1000. So this capacitor, this capacitor is also good. Now I will connect it again. Uh, service engineer, if you are working in a firm, so never compromise on quality. Then there is uh, a capacitor and a resistor. We will check uh, one by one. I will power on again. I powered it. DC voltage. I will check again. I have 330 volt here okay and uh, here I have voltage at output at output terminal I have voltage I have output voltage but these are varying not stable I need stabilized voltage when it is not stabilized what will do will do Rectifier section, filter section working, inverter section working and output section making rectify and uh, the output at the voltage, output voltage terminal that's okay. The problem in the feedback circuit, feedback circuit here is a K, KA431, 431 that is intelligent or uh, we can say that is uh, Zener. This uh, comes in a transistor shape, how will you test it? In any two terminals, just one minute, I will because it is uh, power on, so now it's okay. At center pin and right side, center and right side, it is varying voltage, so it is not making a good reference center and left it is changing center and right changing that means there is a variation in the input voltage we will check the optocoupler if the optocoupler pin number one and two the output side it is not stable also it is varying it should stable okay the reference diode the Zener, the KA431 that is working. Now we will check the output section. We can see output section is varying. It is not regulated, not stabilized. So we will check. That means the optocoupler is working. When here is voltage, the output is working. So that means optocoupler, the Zener, these are okay. The problem in this area, optocoupler output area. I remove the power. What is in the output area? In output area, we have now here, I have one KA431 regulator, Zener. Pin, center pin and this pin, pin 1 or 2, how is KA431? This comes KA431 like this. It is in this package center and right center and left it is a reference diode 
it is a reference so we need to check it how we can check we have to check the center pin at the right center pin is at left voltage DC voltage and now at the optocoupler opto isolator pin number one and two we are measuring voltage these are fluctuating voltage why the fluctuation is uh, due to regulation the output pin that is also changing voltage okay we have a problem in this area now might be we will check there are three components a diode a picofarad capacitor a capacitor a resistor and this capacitor so uh, resistor is looking good so most of the time the diode is okay the diode is okay we will check this capacitor the polar capacitor sometimes due to high voltage spikes these capacitors make problem so we will remove this capacitor I will remove this capacitor now I removed it first of all make uh, the both leads short move to capacitor switch it to capacitor microfarad and uh, oh wow. this is bad it is giving 25 microfarad even it is 47 microfarad it's 47 microfarad but uh, on the multimeter it is giving the low value so this capacitor you can see it is giving 25 microfarad it's 24 so I will take another capacitor the same value Forty-seven fifty, forty-seven fifty, forty-seven microfarad, fifty volt. I will take the same value, and now I will check. Oh, it's forty-five microfarad. This one is giving forty-five microfarad. So I will replace this capacitor. The original one, it was giving twenty-five. So this capacitor is not good. I will install this capacitor. Always uh, take care for clarity. Because uh, for polar capacitor you need to special care for clarity. So here is a negative sign mark on the board. So I will connect negative to negative and positive to positive and we will connect it most of the time there are uh, small problems the capacitor was looking uh, nice uh, there was not looking anything it is not no short circuit or nothing and no anything but just we have to verify test it with the multimeter so now it's okay. I replaced it and I will check the now I installed this capacitor. We removed this one 47 microfarad. Now I will check DC voltage and I will check the input of the optocoupler wow it is stable 1.6 before this it was moving it was fluctuating now it's okay and the output that's also 0 volt DC that means it's working so we will check the output take care it is alive 
we have fixed voltage out in the output 5.1 volt so we solved the problem if, if this video is good for you you can subscribe like and share because uh, power supply we have three sections input filter rectifier circuit inverter circuit output circuit and between output there is feedback this goes to inverter section if there is any problem in this area or the feedback circuit is also faulty so our this section will not work now this converter this plug converter is working properly 5.1 volts we solved the problem we found this capacitor the value it was down capacitance decreased due to sometime it becomes due to internal shortage 25 microfarad we will see why it is Wow. It is discolored. We will find the reason. What was the reason for failure? Oh, it is internally short this capacitor if we see there is a leakage between two plates so due to leakage this is discolored the color changed due to sparking inside this was the reason the internal insulator of the capacitor it was short circuited between this insulator becomes in these two plates this plate and this plate this metal and this is metal and this is insulator if we see this insulator it have bad color so it was the reason to making fluctuation in the voltage i think this video is good for you if this is good you can like subscribe if you want thanks for watching